I need to explain something to you. When you first started about the dog, she had the dog. The dog evidently had a puncture wound. She didn't want to take it to the vet, so my witness paid for the first vet bill. I couldn't pay that. That vet told her to take the dog the next day to the vet. Katie told me that she wouldn't take that dog to the vet and waited for over a week. She called me on a Friday evening saying, I've taken the dog to two vets. I don't know what to do. The dog's leg is swollen up. So I said, meet me at my pet emergency vet tomorrow morning. That dog's leg was so bad at that particular time. And I told her, I said, Katie, it is your dog. You have a serious decision just, to make. Just a second. Listen to me. I see her, the email exchange. She acknowledges she owes you the money. Just a second. I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Don't sell dogs to teenagers. No. A 17-year-old can't take care of themselves. And if you care about a puppy, and this is a big puppy to take care of, you don't sell a puppy to a 17-year-old mm -hmm. or to an 18-year-old. I mean, I think that people I, should I be agree. able to I agree. I see my right. mistake. It, I... was, it was a mistake because they're idiots. They don't know anything about life or taking care of anything. She knows how to have her hair done, and she knows how to get just the right color on her hair, but she doesn't know how to take care of this. Okay. Did you work at Pizza Hut? I, at that time, I Don't did not you? work at Pizza Hut. No, not at that time. Did you ever work at Pizza Hut? Yes. I never worked at Pizza Hut. You worked at Pizza Hut. Because yes. you, she said to you in the email, you told me when you got your tax refund, you would start paying back Bear's vet bill. And your response to her wasn't, it was a gift, I don't owe you that. What you said was, I am going to follow through. I haven't received my Pizza Hut one yet. Yes, my W-2, because I felt obligated to pay her back. Good! Perfect. That's all I need to know. Judgment for the plaintiff. Your Honor, it's, what? it's important. She all has abused this dog by allowing it to get. Is there any way that you could give me a judgment for me to buy my dog back? Just a second. I can't give you a judgment to buy your dog back. She can do either one of two things. Maybe. She can say, I'm not mature enough and old enough to take care of a dog and to take care of its bills because dogs sometimes get sick. So, do you think that you are in better position to take care of this dog, or is the yes. plaintiff in better position to take care of this I'm dog? I'm in better position to take care of this dog. Yeah, tell me what you're doing to take care of the dog. I do everything I can for my dog. My dog comes first. My dog comes, my rent comes first, obviously, but then my dog comes second. Just a second. How do you pay your rent if you don't work? Because I, I have interviews and I have money saved up. You, you pay your rent from interviews? I never heard anything so ridiculous no. in I have my interviews life. coming up for money. And I have money saved. Sorry. Listen, when you make an error in judgment by selling a dog to a teenage fool, sometimes you have to live with that guilt. I understand. I mean, I did you listen to this answer? And I would did you listen to this answer? To I, fix pay, it. I get my money from interviews. <laughs> and I have interviews coming up, and that's how I pay my rent from interviews. And Your Honor. America? Big trouble. Perfect hair. We're done. Bodies are excused. You may step out. You look at the pictures in my mind, that is animal abuse. And we, I did everything I could to take care of that dog. Because she is not taking care of it. She does not commit to it. We went once a week, every week to the vet to get his bandage changed. And I'm, I'm upset I made that decision. It's going to haunt me. And she's psycho. Like, there's no reason to, to call me unfit. My dogs are important to me, and I am sorry as hell that I allowed that dog to go into her hands. Because I, I love that dog. Take care of your animals, and if there is anything, Hallie, that I can do to purchase that dog back, please think about it. She already has four or five German Shepherds at her house, three Pomeranians, and a few birds. You think I'm gonna let another animal into that small house? No. Because I honestly don't think you have what it takes to take care of a, an animal.